And good morning once again here from Port Vila, Coleman Stadium. It's a day five of the 10th Pacific Mini Games, and we've got quite a busy day ahead of us, actually. A beautiful day also, very sunny, uh, and I'm sure one competitors are looking forward um, to uh, today. It's a big day up ahead. Uh, we're bringing you today live football matches here in Port Vila. Um, and of course, the 10th edition of the Pacific Mini Games. We're also bringing you highlights from yesterday, Rugby Sevens um, games, uh, competitions um, that have taken place yesterday. We, well, this afternoon, we're giving you finals of the Rugby Sevens, so you'd have to be with us um, to be viewing all this. That's right. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the live football between Tonga and New Caledonia. One out of the 11 retained from the previous 2-1 loss. And uh, here is the uh, Nicoladonians that will start. Shane Willapani from the left hand side. And uh, Tonga will come in from the right hand side. Your referee for this match is from Solomon Islands, George Time. And uh, he will get the assistance from the sideline from uh, Jeremy Garay from Vanuatu, along with uh, the Solomon Islander of Douglas Mite. And uh, the reserve referee, or the fourth official, if you like, will be Joel Hopkin from Vanuatu. We are here at uh, Port Villa, the municipal stadium here in Vanuatu as uh, we get ready for uh, match one of uh, match day three. Remember, Tonga and uh, Nicaragua, they have played two matches. They have lost both. George Time gives permission to get the ball rolling here and straight away New Caledonia go up on attack with possession from the left hand side. They keep it there. Renjo Vijime. They bring it back across field. As that was Benol, Johannes Benol playing it in the middle. For Marino Acapo and he's brought down. That's the first free kick straight into the match. Coming in your picture there. You take that one, no, it will be left to Benol. We are sitting out with uh, two and lost to Tuvalu because of a match suspension. So they have Benol there. He floats it well on the edge of the box. The chance there still for Tonga to clear it away. And they put it out towards that right inside. And so Nicoladonia again, uh, Romary Cleopak quickly releases there. A lot of space for them to turn it in the box there. They come in as uh, the defense and they get the first goal there, Shane Wellapani. This is, no, that's not Shane Wellapani. That's uh, Gerton Gopi Iwate. He gets it from the left hand side there. That's him. Gaton Gopi Iwate getting the first goal here for the Nicoladonians. Watch it coming. The Tongans are a bit slow in reacting. And he got it sneaked into the far corner of the net as the goalkeeper waited for the cover defense to arrive and close the angle. It didn't happen for them. And it's uh, Nicoladonia that gets the early lead here into this match. The goal from number seven, Gaton Gopi Iwate. A good start for the Nicoladonians. As they take it away again. This is uh, from the right hand side. This is Shane Wellapani. And clever footwork by Romerick Leopak. Still Romerick Tonga struggling there in defense. This time they decide to put it away, but right in front of their box. That will be dangerous as well. As again it is uh, taken away by the defense. They struggle there. 
a lot of work to be done by the Tongans this morning. It's just after 9 a.m. here in Port Vila, Vanuatu. Go to the left hand side there. And uh, taken away by the Tongans in the midfield area. It's Nicoladonians, well organized. Shane Willapani. And looked like a bit of foul coming in. So uh, Tonga, quick free kick taken there. At the moment, it's Vanuatu, the host, that is leading the points table with the uh, six points from two matches. They have played two, they have won both, and they lead by six points. And next is Solomon Islands and Fiji, second and third. Uh, not only second and third, but the second with the same number of points, four points. And same amount of goal difference, a plus eight. And then comes in uh, Tuvalu, sitting on uh, the uh, fourth place there with uh, two matches, and they have got three points. That three points is quite memorable for them. They got it against uh, this Nicoladonians here by 2 1. So they stand ahead of uh, Nicoladonia and Tonga on the uh, points table at the moment. Next one that will come up is Fiji versus Vanuatu. That will be more of a top of the table battle. And then Solomon Islands against the Tuvalu. Again, that could also be a resemblance of uh, the uh, top of the ta table standings. So the three matches today will be the de determining factor as to how they go, where they go after completing uh, their matches Shione Uhatahi with that big clearance and uh, Nikol Donia will be doing good enough there to uh, get it out with a throw in quick one there, Romerick Leopak now Shane Willapane he is good with the ball to his toes decides to lay it out uh, here for Benol Benol advancing there, still Benol, and this time uh, the Tongans just uh, sneak it out. Benol, and not really able to keep it in the field of play at the time, was Marino Acapo. Again, Benol for uh, Nicoladonia with the support of Gaetan Gopi Iwate. Across field they go now. Jimmy Willepani has support there. And a quick one played up front. Warren Hoala. Here he comes into the box. Looks for support to arrive still there. And that soft shot coming in. Renzo Ujime not really putting any power behind that ball to blast it in. The Tonga will be lucky there. They did not go for power, but placing. And the goalkeeper, Mahi Malafu, collected that well for the Tongans. And here is a long kick taken. This time, the Tongans get some chance to go back into the Nicoladonian half, but not for long, as this is again Nicoladonia coming back with possession. Leopak and Shane Wellapane. What can Shane do? And his attempt will go wide off the uh, Tongan goal. And in the process, a bit of injury to uh, the Tongan defender there. So he looks a bit uncomfortable, still needing some attention. So at the moment, Nicola Donia leading the uh, Tongans by one goal to nil. Gaiton Gope Iwate goal.
match one of match day three. Slow start to the day, though. Uh, maybe the focus will be the next one, the big one. And that is the host, Vanuatu, taking on Fiji. The night earlier, we saw uh, the women's side for the two uh, countries, uh, Fiji and uh, Vanuatu, displaying wonderful football. Uh, football. And uh, here, in the day, we will have the men's coming up against each other. And that will be a free kick. Is it outside the box? As uh, the Nicoladonian player. Varen Hoala is still down. We'll wait for the referee to confirm whether that was, but looks like it's a free kick. Because he didn't uh, point for the spot kick. There he is, the referee from the uh, Solomon Islands, uh, George Dime. Uh, it's a free kick just uh, probably inches outside that white line, the box edge. And he has indicated to the Nicaraguanians wait for the whistle. Stronger trying to organize the defense. That's the tongue on bench watching the whole scenario they are in at the moment. They haven't got any point on the points table. Dead comes in, and uh, it will be a goal kick. As looked like it had uh, gone into the net that time. But uh, the uh, free kick not really finding the mark for the Nicoladonians. So they still hold on to that uh, early 1 0 lead that has been earned by Gaetan Gopi Iwate. Benol playing it up on for Gaetan Gopi. Here's the scorer as uh, now Nicoladonia break away with the Warren Hawala. And he is covered well there. Tongans, they do well in defense that time. Again, it's Gopi Wate. He's asking for a corner kick. The assistant referee is not interested in that one because. They have confirmed it will be a goal kick. With no reason whatsoever to go back for the corner kick there. As the Tonga will come in with a goal kick. Mahi Malafu. David Tavakatapu playing it up, looking for the right midfield of Vailutu to go for it. It's a huge throw-in again Tonga and they bring it finally into the box and it requires the goalkeeper Mikhail Ulile to uh, put in some effort into this match as well he was having a resting time all this while here's the captain Dominic Well Benol Kaiton Kopi Wate. Infield pass, Marino Capo. Still they square it there. Renzo Vijime. And they set it up near on for Romerick Lupak. As Romerick has the bounce in front of him, but no Nicoladonian players coming from the middle there to provide support for him. As the Tongans had circled around him and covered it well. Now they have to go back Nicoladonia. That was Renzo Vijime. And uh, they keep it there on that far side. Passes for the captain, Dominic Well. He has uh, filled in for uh, fourth in Poma, the suspended captain. And uh, he won't be featuring in the remainder of this competition. Three match suspension 
from the Tuvalu match. There is the goal scorer, the only goal in this match coming from Gaito and Gope Iwati. The Tonga, they just holding on and trying to keep the scoreline to a minimum for now as they struggle to keep possession in this match. Again, they give it away, Nicola Donia. Here is uh, the uh, placing shot and that will trickle outside of the goalkeeper as Veron Hoala broke away nicely in that space. There he is, Veron Hoala and uh, Nicola Dornia will go slowly for this uh, corner kick. This time a low one coming in and uh, the Tongans just uh, doing enough to uh, keep the ball away from their box area, from the goal area. Another corner kick eventually won by the uh, Nicaraguanians there. This time a high one for the goalkeeper to work for it and good defense there. Coming in from the Tongans. They play it in, keep it there for a while. And a through ball played, nobody wanting it, and taken back by Romeric Leopak for uh, Nicola Donia for the goalkeeper, Mahi Malafu. <laughs> Captain Dominic, this is Benol, Johannes Benol. They find space in the middle and then to the left hand side. Kuten. Still hustling for possession there is Shin. Oh, not Shin with a panic. That's Marino Acapo that lost possession there. This remembers the 10th edition of uh, the uh, Pacific mini games. And uh, six nations taking part in the men's competition four in the women's the women's competition is having a round robin and then the top two for the uh, gold and silver playoff and the bottom two will go for the bronze playoff on thursday and on friday we'll see the final round of uh, men's competition that will decide uh, who owns the gold medal, the silver and the bronze in this 10th uh, Pacific mini games here in Port Vila. The next round of uh, matches for football is coming on Monday. Tomorrow is a break day here in terms of the competition. And on Monday we'll see the women's, all the four women's teams in action. And uh, Tuesday we'll see three matches for the men's competition. Fiji Tonga, Tuvalu, Vanuatu, and Nicaragua Solomons. Wednesday, then will be a break day. And uh, Thursday is uh, the uh, medal playoff for the women's bronze and the gold medal. And of course, uh, the uh, final day of competition is on Friday when we will have uh, three men's matches Tuvalu, Tonga, Fiji, Nicaragua and uh, Solomon Islands versus Vanuatu that will wrap up the 10th uh, edition of the men's Pacific Games competition. Penal through the middle here. 
decides to turn around and play it back for Dominic. Because the Tongans had come in that space, closing it down. Johannes Pino across the pass there. They bring it to the right inside. Dominic well playing it through there, looking for Shane Wellapane. He will be dangerous here, but uh, good cover defense coming in from the Tongans there of uh, Uhatahi, Sione Uhatahi. Shane Wellapane, number 11 for uh, Nicolodonia, has scored two goals one against uh, the Vanuatu 2 1 loss, one against the Tuvalu 2 1 loss. He hasn't uh, come on the score sheet yet. As Nicol Donia prepared to take that corner kick, the delivery comes in the box, and the goalkeeper, Mahi Malafu, collects it. Shane Velapane, that's the man, number 11 and has support from the fellow teammates. Sheen this time losing possession, but regained there by Romeric Leopak. And the shot taken from the goal scorer Iwate. But that goes high. Kaiton Kope Iwate caught that early lead for Nicolodonia. Since then, uh, the Tongans have done well to keep Nicolodonia at bay. Here is him coming in the picture with that shot. Just uh, the height of the ball, not at the desired level. And again, he ends uh, the possession back for Nicolodonia. The hard work done by him, but nobody utilizing that uh, through ball that he played infield. Nicola Donia will still have possession here. Comes back. Benol with the cross. Johannes Benol cleared away. Tonga. Again, this is Captain Dominic. Dominic well. And uh, the goalkeeper gets that straight pass from Dominic that was meant for the strikers to chase for. And it didn't reach uh, any of them on that occasion. So uh, the goalkeeper, Mahi Malafu. Boot coming in the way from the Tongans there. It was quite new to trying to uh, put it in. And now the Tongans coming back with the possession here from the halfway mark, though, had not really able to keep it in the field of play. A bit difficult for Swaki Vea, number nine for the Tongans. A throw in to come in from uh, Vanuatu, uh, from Nicolodonia. That's Dominic. A cross field pass. Renzo Hujime. Back for Dominic. Johannes. Johannes Benol. Good uh, clever shielding there by Vailutu. Keeps it for the Tongans. And they have to go back. Clever flicking pass from the box area as well. The Tongans trying to tidy things here from their own half. Marino Akapo, still Marino. And uh, again, nobody reading the through pass that they are trying to play there between the red jerseys. as a quick release there. But uh, Dominic has it covered. Uh, Johannes Penol. Here he is, Johannes. Kaiton, Sheen, Willapani, covered by the Tongans. 
duel in the midfield now. The Tongans have some possession. They are good touches as well. They've hit a Vakatapu. And a bit of late challenge on uh, Benol. So, uh, free kick is what they get inside their own half. Just over 25 minutes. And uh, the Nicoladonians leading the Tongans by one goal to nil. The goal coming in from number seven, Gaeton Gopeiwate. Again, the typical characteristic passes coming in. The uh, through ball meant for the strikers to chase for. They have three there, but uh, none of them connecting. This is probably the fourth time they have not been able to uh, reach to the final play and finish it home the midfielders have been doing well playing the passes there and taking it up trying to play the through ball and this time the Tonga side will get a free kick there it's almost in the middle of uh, the Nicoladonia territory and they leave it for uh, Neo Feao one of those hard working Tongan players take the responsibility of the delivery here from this kick here he comes in and that looks a good one but not a problem for this goalkeeper Mikhail Ulile Renzo Vijime. That's a wonderful through ball played there. Can they chase this one? With the Tongans underneath that one. Fahina. Just letting it go out of play for a throw in to the opposition there. Not much coming out of this action here. As we close on to the first 30 minutes. It's Nicola Donia that has been toiling around with possession. But not able to execute uh, to the final play and get the goals that they are here for the only first goal to uh, get on Gope Iwate and since then they have been trying but not getting the goal as he has been all has the space Shane Willapane quick passes not happening there again for them the Tongans the Red Jesses they regroup there and they get it away Suakai Vea and Vailutu in the Leo Lea corner it was number five and uh, here is a struggle for them Uhatahi does well though this time again Uhatahi and he reaches the position to the halfway mark Have a footwork there from Remerick Ipak Marina Capo. John Batiste right here. I think it comes now for Dominique Well. Halfway mark, Johannes Spenol. And for Romerick Leopak for Gaiton. Delivery into the box. Can somebody connect to that one? The Tongan defense to well there, Uhatahi. And another clearance as well will uh, get things eased up for the Tongans. But here come the Nicoladonia side. Marino Capo. Good through ball played there for Gaeton. The delivery. The Tongans waiting for that. They knew it will come there again. And this time looks like. Uh, the free kick awarded to the Tonga side in defense though. There's Uhatahi, Sione Uhatahi takes a short one and in the path of the opposition players here, Hawala has possession and brought down just outside the box. 
gave it away. The blunder there in defense by the Tonga side. Sione Ohatahi that time giving away that uh, free kick in the path of uh, Hawala. So what can Nicola Donia make out of uh, this uh, free kick here? That was the play. Hawala trying to take the shot and the boat coming on Hawala. From uh, Siloa Fahina. They have left it for Shane Wellapane to take that uh, free kick. Also in the picture there is Renzo Vijime. So two of them sizing up for the ball. There is a huge wall in front of him too. Where will that one be aimed for? A kick and no problems whatsoever to the Tonga defense. And that's uh, the Nicola Donian head coach of uh, Franco Estates. Probably not happy with um, the early morning show by the Nicola Donian so far in this first 30 minutes at least. One goal out of the 30 minutes. Almost 70% uh, of possession with the Nicola Donian side. They took about three shots and all of them, except for that one goal, has gone wide and high as well. Here they have to go back, Nicola Donia. Johannes Penol. Sean Baptiste right through. Hoala back to, uh, this time it is Sheen. Uh, that is uh, Jean Baptiste White Hill. And the referee has called for what they call the water break because of the heat that is here at Municipal Stadium in Port Vila, Vanuatu. The players are taking that uh, needed break, and that will also give a chance to the uh, coaches. We have a quick reflection and a bit of uh, guidance to the boys. It's 9.30, just over 9.30 here in the morning at uh, Port Villa. As we say, a good morning and welcome to all our viewers across the Pacific. <laughs> and the live stream as well. We see our comments. Well, at the moment, though, down by one goal to nil. Looking at their commitment and their level. And uh, when we compare the status of the Nicolodonia football side, a lot of credit goes uh, to Tonga for holding them up. Until now, and conceding this one goal in 30 minutes. But interesting to see these 15 minutes the remaining time in the match before the half time break. Who will make use of it? Will, will the Nickel Bonnier side get some more goals? Or uh, Tonga will survive this care for the remaining 15 minutes as here is the Tongans dancing away with uh, the performance shown by the Tongans on the field of play crowd slowly getting in here for the big one that is coming after this one midday Vanuatu time it will be Vanuatu versus PG men's competition a draw for Vanuatu there will be quite handy for them and uh, a win for Vanuatu will give them a breakaway lead on the top of the table because at the moment they have got seven points and the next team that uh, close in on Vanuatu is BG and the Solomon Islands for the siege. So keep the losing the ball. Vanuatu will have a lot of building space 
But then uh, you have the Solomons taking it to Bali in the last match of uh, match day three here. And a win for the Solomons in that one will put them on seven points. So there will still be two teams kept between the Solomons. And Nicola Gonia at the moment is zero points, remember. And uh, with this game against the Thomas, if they get the three points here, it's how Allah goes for some delivery from the right inside, not really able to do so. As he has the shot coming in, and the goalkeeper made to dive and tap it away. The time coming in from John Buttis, right here. They have ended a corner kick there. They have no points on the points table at the moment. Nicol Donia, two matches played. And uh, if they get the three points here, then the next one for them is on Tuesday. When they take on the Solomon Islands. Not an easy match for them. And they will need nothing less than three points from that one. Solomon Islands very much in contention as well. Placed second at the moment with Fiji, four points. And then Nicoladonia's next match is again not an easy one. And that is against another contenders for the gold medal. And that's the Fijian side. They have to win this one and get maximum points from the remaining two matches. Here comes uh, the Nicoladonia side. Tonga do well in defense there. Covering well was Lotima Tau for O. Have to get the nine points, Tonga, uh, not Tonga, Nicaragua. If they are serious about uh, fighting it out till the uh, final day for the gold medal in this tenth Pacific mini games. It's a humid morning here. And, uh, is definitely feeling get on the field of play because that is a wild shot taken at least an attempt going towards the goal by Tevita Vakatapu coming off the back of uh, Gaiton Gopi Wate and still Nicoladonia in defense he has possession for Tonga there's a good delivery and the header into the net that's a goal for the Tonga side look like by Lutu we will confirm that there he is, and uh, that's 1-1. One, one. Nicola Donia in trouble again. And this time is the Tongans coming casually with the ball possession. They enjoy it for a while, at least for a, just over a minute. And the header came in. The replay will confirm the nature of play they came in with never look like that it will be a goal from that angle there it comes in look at him go for the header there he is and that's number 15 Neo Feao oh, what a scenario here these Tongans have given some trouble to Nicola Donia as we are about six seven minutes away from the halftime break The foul coming in from uh, Shane Willapani. And this goalkeeper is in a shock. Mikhail Ulile. He was well positioned there near the out. So that's the first goal for uh, the Tongans in this competition. And I'm sure Tonga must be celebrating back home. In a Leo, Leo Kwana. And the Tongans give it away this time. There's a lot of space given here for Romerick Leopa. They want to react with this situation. And it's the goalkeeper of Mahi Malafu that grabs it away. Before the uh, Nicolodon here on slot, the threat could pose upon him. Again, they go on attack there. Shane Willapani, two ball play, good header there by Uhatahi. Yes, Shane Willapani getting it back for the Nicoladonia side. And then it is Romerick 
a cross field pass. Doing well is Gaton Guate. Oh, Allah. And Renzo Vigime, the shot. The goalkeeper is there to take control of things for Tonga. The crowd in the grandstand for the Tongans enjoying the morning with that equalizer coming in from Neo Peao. That is uh, a bit of trouble for the goalkeeper to get that uh, controlled. Now the free kick to the Tonga side. Looks like the Nicoladonia side will have a huge discussion about this first half in their change room because they did not expect this score line at uh, the half time break at least. Looks like that is how they will go for the change room. But the Tongans here have a delivery to make towards the goal. There they come in and the goalkeeper this time, Mikhail Ulile, alert and active. His delivery has been taken charge of by the Tongans as uh, Uhatahi. Again, Uhatahi goes high for that one. Doing well is Shiola. Shioloa Fahina. And taken away. Now the Nicolodonia side has a chance to squeeze in the lead here as Shane Wellapane and the goalkeeper. And it is Mahi Malafu that grabs it for the Tonga side. Well, it around Tonga deserve a lot of credit for what they have displayed so far. Early goal conceded, and after that, they have been able to just close the space that this nuclear donia side want to play football in. The referee there, George Time, has given a free kick to the Tonga side just in the center circle area of the Nicoladonia half. Here is Loki Matau for O, the captain. And he comes in with a kick. Now how will the uh, Nicoladonia side react with this counter-attack? Uh, that's covered by the, uh, the Tonga defense. Uhatahi, Sione Uhatahi. There he is again, Uhatahi, and the kick comes off. The Nicolodonian attack there. And this is Shane Wellapane. Can he get the lead before the halftime break? No, the end, a corner kick there. into the box the goalkeeper he does well on the second occasion getting it secured and the Tonga side comes to the halfway mark I'm sure the Tonga is about to go for a break here quickly as the Tonga has the nuclear goal here the first one to face the coach before they get the lead there is the corner kick to the team in. Watch the goalkeeper come out. The hands went high from Gaiton as well. The uh, Nickel Donia number seven. And a bit of injury there. He looks okay. And we'll get back into the match. Still some time remaining here before the halftime break. Mark. He is uh, number six, Devita Vakatapu. He's shot 
and the goalkeeper quickly this time rushes out before any threat is uh, posed upon his goal. Marina Kapo. And the goalkeeper is there. Mahi Molaku. He can keep it there for as long as he wants, but then the threat comes in with a challenge from Ho'ala. He ensures that everything is right in defense over the Tonga side before he delivers. Romerick Leopak as we are Big ball played for Shane Walapani. Across field pass, it goes. Look for the space from that angle. This is a deep delivery. And again, the goalkeeper. Confident and controlled in the box. Tonga have possession. And another foul committed there. The Tonga will have uh, some possession in the opposition half from this critic before the half-time break here. As the kick comes in uh, into the box in the path of uh, the Tongans there. Still they keep it. Clever 10 by number 10, Hema Polo barely taken away. Here is Shin. Shin on for Hoala. Hoala has a lot of space given to him in the middle. What will he do out of this situation? Still Hoala. And still he goes on his own, lays it down there. The goalkeeper standing in the way. Good save by him. As Nicola Donia still create another chance. This time a chip kick taken. Renzo Ijime. And that's a wasted effort there for New Caledonia. They came very close. Good work done there by Warren Hoala, number nine. And uh, he laid it out for Renzo Ijime to finish it home. But it didn't happen that way. And we have two minutes of additional, of, uh, time, will be additional minimum time. That's the minimum before the halftime break. And what a way for the Tonga side to go for the break here. Will they be able to do so or will Nicoladonia sneak it in? Here they come in. Gaiton. Sheen Velapani. Sheen. And the Tongans must have seen three or four of them there. And this time a bit of physical approach coming in from number two. Sione Ohatahi. Penol. Hoala, Warren Hoala gets it back from Sheen. This is Warren Hoala. He has been working hard for a while. And the yellow card will go to Warren Hoala for that foul on this Tongan man here of Sione Uhatahi, who has been very instrumental and commanding in defense. So the yellow card to this man, number nine. Warren Hawala, he has been working very hard and moving around with the ball in the last couple of minutes. But in that bid to keep possession and to try and hammer it in, he fouled the defender. There he is. Oh, uh, that's the ball coming from the top, straight on the ankle of uh, the Tongan defender, Sione Ohatahi. And there he is uh, being attended. Referee from Solomon Islands, George Time. Crowd wait patiently, probably for the next one, the big one. And that is Vanuatu versus Fiji. But this match here has. Uh, and this man is all right there from the injury. That's a Sione Ohatahi. Yeah, this match will certainly liven up with that uh, equalizer coming in from Tonga, Neo Feao. We're just away from the half time break and doesn't look like Nicoledonia getting the winner or the lead, brother. 
And another free kick, this time Tonga goal, right near the box. So this is where they would want to finish this match before they go for the break. And Nicola Dornia would not have wanted to finish it this way. It is Kilifi Kuele with the uh, Sokai Vea the lining up the kick there who will take charge of it Kilife looks to be the player to take it but then Vea is also there that is Kilife and that will travel away from the goal and the referee will send the two sides here for the half time break as Tonga has put up a brave fight against New Caledonia and have forced a 1-1 scoreline at the halftime break. That's uh, the replay that came in and a cross-field play. So the goal coming in from number seven, Gaitan Gopi Wate, early stages of the first half. And then Tonga hitting back, coming in with the header. The time was Neo Feao. And that's how the two sides go for the breather here, 1-1. Physical inactivity kills over 75% of adults in the Pacific each year.